Hello friends, in today's video we are going to be looking at how we can step up our image five times the quality of the image in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative by Larry B. Management. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. This image we are going to be using, all we have to do is click on the adjustment layer icon and choose gradient map. We have to click on the gradient to edit the colors. You take a look at the color area here, we we'll notice that it's graded out. To change the color of this color stop, we have to click on it to activate this color here. Then we we'll click on it like this, we we'll activate the color, then click on the color to change the color. Then we are going to be using this for the shadows. Then we are going to take it to down to the black, complete black, then hit OK. Then we we'll have the first one at black. Then we'll go to the other ending and click on this at the ending, this color stop at the ending. Then we'll have to edit it, click on this box to edit it. Then we'll take it to complete white, then hit OK. This is going to be for the highlights. We still need one of these color stuff for the mid-tone. Then we'll have to click the space here to create one. Then we'll have to click on the color stop to edit the color inside. Then we'll have to click here and choose gray. We we'll have to select gray, the ending here. Then we can make sure, we can just click on 50 here to make sure it's 50. Then you can change this uh, saturation to, you can change the saturation here to zero. Then we we'll have the mid tone at 50% gray. Then we we'll click OK. The next thing we do is to change the blend mode, but we cannot change the blend mode without collapsing this panel. Then go to the blend mode and choose luminosity. We can click on the gradient again to edit the gradient. We can push this color stop to the right to create contrast for the shadows. Then if you take it forward a bit, you notice that we have strong shadow. It's going to give you high contrast. Then we we'll go to the we can go to the highlights. We can see go to the mid-tone and click on the mid-tone and drag the mid-tone forward to create contrast also for the mid-tone. We we'll have the mid tone set to 50 let's say 50 52 for location is okay then we can adjust to choose for the best position for us to leave our highlights i think the highlight is not too strong this way we can leave the location at 95 i think it's okay then we can just hit okay for the now let's see the before and after of this uh, gradient adjustment so this is before this is after this is before this is after before we proceed there is a bonus tip do you know you can pick this gradient now and take it to another file entirely then drop it here you see what happened to it isn't it amazing adjust the gradient here and do whatever you feel you can do with it as you can see look at what is happening to this image okay let's hit okay for this and this is before this is after this is before this is after let's take this the same gradient and take it to the other one which is this and drop it here voila you see what happened here okay you can go like this one i noticed that the highlight is very strong then you can click here and take the highlight back and it's soft then you can see increase the intensity of the shadow and the mid tone the mid tone and shadows can reduce the shadows or increase the shadows like this so you can you can see what is happening here is amazing isn't it you can see what has been added to this image let's see the before and after see the before and see the after see the before and see the after so we can continue let's go to our major image like as we said before this is before and this is after like this area has been eaten up with shadows if you go to the opacity and reduce it now it's not going to reduce just its shadow unless you go to the this the shadow here and reduce the amount of the shadow and the intensity of the shadow and hit okay so we have it before and after then if we want to go ahead and pull the quality of this image up like as we said, we have to go for that by holding our control down, holding our shift down, then add our odds. We are going to push our E to create a visible stamp layer. Right click on the layer and convert to smart object. After converting to smart object, go to filter, 
then camera roll so this is our camera roll filter okay let's adjust the texture let's place our texture at 20 let's say 20 here 20 we go out of let's go out of this basic now and go to detail let's click on detail we'll open detail then inside detail we have sharpening we have noise reduction and we have color noise reduction we are going to open up the sharpening then if you take a look at this sharpening now we have sharpening here radius detail and masking is graded out because you've not added any sharpness at all so we have to push up the sharpness to our liking first let's take it up to our liking i think let's say like 50 should be okay then the radius we can leave the radius at one then the detail at 25 detail as 25 then the masking what the masking does here is it takes you from the surface of the image the skin of the image to the edges so we have to move this thing slightly to the edges so if we take it to okay let's say 20 something percent it's going to be affecting the edges which are the lines and at the same time it will still affect the skin but if we take it forward like this it's going to move away from the skin and go to the edges then we are going to bring it back let's bring it back so that we have some of this sharpening on the skin so as you can see the the lines has been separated from the sharpness of the skin so for the masking i believe like 38 or let's say 40 should be okay 40. as you can see the lines has been sharpened and the skin is still kind of sharp let's hit okay for this then look at what happened here let's see the before and after of this this is before the sharpening in camera raw and this is after the sharpening in camera raw so let's take a look at the general before and after so this is this should be before and this is after this is before this is after in case you find out that there are colors in the shadow you can go to your adjustment layer and pick any of the adjustment layer that can handle colors for you you can choose vibrance you can bring your vibrance down looking at those areas that is having that too much color then hit ok then you can go to your adjustment layer use your ctrl i to invert the layer marks then go to your brush tool pick your brush tool make sure the foreground color is white and the background color is black increase your brush you can reduce the opacity and flow and i believe like 60 should be ok then 60 percent for flow is ok also then hit ok and start painting on those areas you don't want too much colors on you can just turn it around these areas so as you can see the image is great and it's good to go now so let's see the entire before and after let's hold our odds and click on this we we'll have this is before and this is after this is before this is after just take a look at the increase in quality isn't that amazing just imagine the little time added to your edits and you have your image popped to this extent I believe that is it for today. If you find it interesting, helpful, and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped, the area it has not, and the area we need to improve on. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button. Also, ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative Poe. Keep on creating. Please stay creative. Bye for now. See you in the next one. Bye.